Have you ever participated in a video conference and call with a high video quality like Full HD or 4K? Well, me neither. For your information, in Zoom you can have HD quality by default and to request 1080p you need to make special call to the support team. In Google Meet, 360p is the default and you can change in the settings to HD. That's it. I guess it's okay if you look at someone's face at 360p in a small video thumbnail. Probably it's fine if you look at someone's face on a big screen at 720p, but why do we have those fancy web cameras and don't use their full potential? Is it possible at all to have full HD or 4K video resolution in, in WebRTC? Let's find out. Since popular video tools like Google Meet doesn't allow us to have full HD or 4K video resolution, we'll use our custom video conferencing room. And I'm using external web camera because in MacBooks they have the maximum video resolution 720p and this one will get us 1080p. Okay, so we are in the room. We have two participants, me and another computer. This computer streams full HD video from OBS. And let's check. WebRTC internals. Uh, so we are looking at inbound RTP stream and we see that frame width and frame height is jumping. Sometimes it's full HD, sometimes it's lower, but it's about WebRTC, so WebRTC technology lowers the video quality if it thinks that there is a problem with network or CPU. So yeah, now it's back at full HD and frames, yeah, frames run 30 frames per second, which is great. Uh, another thing I would like to check is the uh, network usage and right now we receive 360 kilobytes per second and if we multiply by 8 that's 2.4 okay it's 3 around 3 megabits now great let's try 4k and for the 4k it's not so easy so even if I ask browser to send me 4k video it still send me full HD. See, so frame width and frame height is full HD. Frames per second is fine, it's around 30. And sometimes it jumps around, but yeah, full HD is maximum. And that's because some limitations in the network or about CPU limitations on the computers that they use for the streaming. But I have another idea. Let's use my iPhone as a video source and see how it works. Check this out. So finally we have a 4K, I'm streaming from my phone and this is video here on the right. But what is the frame rate? So slow. Let's check WebRTC internals. Frame width and frame height is stable, it's 4K, great. And frames per second is jumping around. Okay, it was 2, now it's 6 or 7. Not good. Probably iPhone doesn't have hardware encoding in Safari browser. That's stupid, but okay, that's iPhone 10. probably iPhone 12 will work better. As we just saw, it's possible to use Full HD and even 4K in WebRTC. Yes, sometimes experience is not great. And that's probably why Google Meet or Zoom don't use it in their products. If you have old devices, you can't play video smoothly enough or you can't send your video in the highest video resolution. Another reason is the infrastructure costs. As we saw, in Full HD we send 3 megabits of data and by default Google Meet sends 6 times less with the HD quality. So nobody wants to overspend. That's it for today. I hope you find it useful. Bye-bye.